we need to consider the energy flow through an ecosystem. Uh, bear in mind that any energy flow is also coupled with changes in the organic material within that ecosystem. Uh, in most terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems, where well, our main source of energy is sunlight. Sunlight comes in, uh, it is captured by special molecules, primarily chlorophyll within plants, and it is used to uh, change raw materials like carbon dioxide and water into food molecules like glucose, fats, amino acids, nucleic acids, and the other basic building blocks of life. The first organisms that capture the sunlight uh, go by a couple of names. One is autotrophs, which means self-feeders. And the other, in an ecological sense, is producers, in that they take the sunlight energy and produce food from it using uh, materials that are around them in the environment. These producers are then fed upon by a certain group of heterotrophs, or other feeders. It means organisms that feed on other things. And we have several different kinds of heterotrophs. Uh, the closest to the producers, ecologically, we call uh, herbivores, or first level consumers. And the herbivores primarily specialize upon eating plant materials. The herbivores, in turn, are fed upon by carnivores, or meat eaters, or what we call second order consumers. And all of these eventually, including the leftover autotroph material, uh, the feces, etc., from the herbivores and the carnivores, are finally broken back down into the raw materials to be used again in this cycle for processing energy by organisms called decomposers. There's one other group, and, and this is a group to which humans belong, that's called omnivores. Omnivores eat both plant material and meat material. And omni means everything. So uh, basically omnivores, like humans, will eat any darn thing. 